Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? Welcome to Adult Education Ingredient. My name is Rosalia Wong. Guess what I'm going to bring you today? Today, the topic is called Measuring Course Learning Curriculum. <laughs> So today the topic is called measuring course learning curriculum. So how do you measure course learning curriculum? So um, today the topic is just a brief um, uh, example for you to just uh, for you to know uh, to just uh, have a glimpse of what is do you what do you mean by measuring course learning curriculum? So for also suggestions and advices, you can put me through the link in the description section below. So I will give you also insights into what you need for your profession and your organization. So let's get started into the topic. So to measure course curriculum, we need assessment tools. So assessment tools to test the effectiveness of a course learning curriculum, such as written examination, performance examination, oral examinations, and portfolios as sources of academic credit to document uh, learning. The study was done by Penovich, Nestler, and Thomas in 1997. So also they suggest that the assessment tools used to measure the institutional effectiveness include the focus group surveys and interviews. So you can subscribe to my channel by hitting the button so you will not miss anything as I will bring you new topic, new insights and new ingredients every Monday and Thursday. And also I have seen a lot of you watching the, my videos and without subscribing it. So if um, you can subscribe to my channel, you will help also my channel to grow and also you can access to my uh, Every day, every week, Monday and Thursday, new you can access to new topics, new insights, and new ingredients for your profession and your organization. So by hitting the button on the uh, left hand side, uh, the right hand side, bottom corner of the uh, button, subscription button, and you subscribe it, and you will not miss anything. And also, you help, as I said, you help, will help my channel to grow. So let's get back to the topic again. So another measurement is the heuristic framework. Heuristic is um, those who don't know how to what is a heuristic framework. I will put down in the description section. Um, uh, describe what is a heuristic framework. So as I will describe a little bit of uh, heuristic framework a little bit here. So heuristic framework actually uses the uh, Bloom's taxonomy, uh, taxonomy of learning. So again, if you don't understand what is Bloom's taxonomy of learning. I will do one video in future about the uh, Bloom's taxonomy of learning. Isn't it good? So taking into consideration uh, the lower order and the higher order processes, of course, um, about Bloom's taxonomy. So Bloom's taxonomy of learning is taking into consideration the lower order and the higher order order processes of learning. So for example, the higher order processes include the program outcomes, core for knowledge, comprehension, application, and integrative thought processes. So if you like the contents, remember to put your thumbs up and share it with your friend. So let's get back to the topic again. So the outcome evaluations would determine the requirements of the curriculum. For example, Students should be able to, number one, read analytically and critically in a range of views. This is, these are the uh, evaluations, okay? The outcome of evaluations. Number two, able to write clear, grammatical, and compelling prose. Number three, students are able to think critically in making judgments and identifying and posing solutions to problems. Number three, students are able to develop cohesive arguments using appropriate supporting evidence. Number five, student is able to interpret events using more than one perspective, such as historical, economic, biological, and social and global. 
Number six, student is able to explain the role of culture in shaping diverse societies. Number seven, students are able to identify elements of artistic and creative expression. Number eight, um, students are able to apply knowledge of mathematics and the natural sciences in different contexts. Number nine, students are able to demonstrate our awareness of the uh, ethical implications of the actions. So the others was mentions were the, the outcome evaluations that determine the requirements of the curriculum uh, about the student's characteristic. Okay? You can go over to listen again about the, um, the requirements that I have mentioned. And also, um, remember if you uh, need advices and suggestions, you, you can put me through the links in the description section below and I will give you all some suggestions and advices that you need to know for your profession and your organization. So, the, so finally, um, the outcome evaluation statement need to be updated as the external environment changes all the time. Okay, the society, the world, the environment changes all the time. So we need to update everything, even the, the outcome evaluations for the uh, curriculum, uh, course curriculum as well. Okay, that's all for my topic today. Thank you for tuning in uh, for uh, today. And remember to subscribe to my channel by hitting the button so you will not miss anything as I bring you new ingredients, new insights, and new topics every Monday and Thursday. Thank you for listening today and until next time and goodbye.